Hi friends, today we are starting a new project based on the art and inventions of Leonardo da Vinci. And I think a lot of you have heard about this artist before. He is probably one of the most famous, if not the most famous artist who ever lived. He was born in 1452, so more than 500 years ago. And he was from the town of Vinci in Italy. So a lot of people would take on as kind of their last name, uh, the town in which they were from. So Da Vinci means Leonardo is his first name from the town of Vinci. At the age of 15, he became a, an apprentice at a painting studio in Florence, which is another, which is a very big city in Italy right here and if you are an apprentice you know that you work under another person to kind of learn to learn that skill so that's how he learned to paint and at by the time he was age 30 he worked for the Duke of Milan and Milan is a town here in northern Italy where he designed weapons buildings and machi machinery for the king because the duke actually worked um, he was kind of the right hand man he worked right under the king um, so he worked for technically for the king as well this is one of his self portraits he did as an older man it's done in chalk pastel and if you, as you see lots and lots of great great detail he was very skilled at drawing and many other things so the time in which uh, Leonardo da Vinci lived, um, the 14 and 1500s, we call that time in Europe the Renaissance. And Renaissance means rebirth because at that time, many, many discoveries were made in art and science and even music. And Leonardo was one of the, um, one of the people who kind of who contributed to all of these great advancements. Not only was he an amazing artist, he was an amazing scientist. You can see these are drawings of anatomy, um, of a horse, the structure of a horse, and this is, of course, of a human skeleton. He was one of the first artists to really, really render all of the details and technically what it what goes on within the human body the structure so doctors when they perform procedures they uh were had this this drawings as references to help them along when they were performing medical procedures he is referred to a, re a renaissance man because that at the time of the renaissance like as i said all kinds of advancements were going on not only in art but in science he was a talented architect he designed buildings he was and a lot of you probably know this was a great inventor he is one of the first inventors to design a flying machine which you think about the modern airplane today or helicopter leonardo was the first to kind of think about those ideas um, this is one of his most famous paintings called The Last Supper, and it's very, very famous because he is one of the first artists to show us this three-dimensional space. You can kind of see the lines going back in space, uh, and that is called perspective drawing. And Before that, a lot of artists painted things much more flat on a flat, sur on a flat plane, but he kind of developed that system of diagonal lines to kind of show things going into space and more depth to make uh, a work a 2d work of art flat work of art look much more 3d and of course when we talk about leonardo we have to talk about the mona lisa this is probably the most famous portrait painting in the world she, Mona, was the wife of an Italian merchant, so the, her husband sold goods in Italy, and he paid Leonardo to do her portrait. It is so famous, well, not only because it was painted by Leonardo da Vinci, but as you know, 
the way he painted her eyes, her gaze, it kind of looks like she is staring at you, but it could also show that she's staring um, to somebody, somebody, to someone who's to the right of her or to the left of her, and also her smile. At that time in Renaissance, in the Renaissance portraits, very people were painted never with a smile. They were also they were off they were always painted very seriously with a serious expression. But he decided to paint Mona with a, just a tiny little bit of a smile. This painting, uh, maybe some of you have you've ever been to Paris in France. It's there called it's the Louvre Museum in France, and the painting is actually quite small and it's under bulletproof glass because it's been stolen a few times so again because of how valuable the painting is it's highly guarded but if you ever go to the louvre one day the famous art museum in paris you could you can see this painting in person and i was able to which was many years ago which was pretty awesome all right, so another thing about Leonardo da Vinci, perhaps you've heard of the Da Vinci Code. There was a book called, called this name, as well as a movie. And basically the Da Vinci Code uh, comes from Leonardo's sketchbooks. He had many, many sketchbooks. And you see this is another anatomy drawing he did. This is a sketchbook page of uh, some inventions that he drew. Leonardo actually did his writing backwards. So as you see, instead of reading things from left to right, you'd have to read his um, writing from, from right to left. And also, you would have to hold it up to a mirror in order to read his writing correctly. Now, speculation or rumor has it the reason why he did that is he didn't want people to steal his ideas you see these are some of his inventions here and by writing backwards um people it would be hard to to read his ideas or take a glance at his sketchbook so that's basically where the code comes from it's the way he wrote backwards or in a reverse all right so let's talk a little bit about his inventions this is the his drawing of the first tank the way he designed it is it would be man powered remember we have there's no electricity at this time so the upper image here shows the tank firing and there would be multiple cannons arranged around the tank and then at the bottom the men would work the wheels in order to move the tank so the men would be down here working the wheels so the tank would move this is one of the first helicopter designs uh, a flying machine that also would be man powered the fans here this would be a rotating fan and it would circle around to kind of propel you upwards and then this final image is a machine gun so he was the first to invent a machine gun and it would be three sets um, on a rotating drum and the way it would work is when the first set fired the force of the explosion would pivot the guns downward bring the net next set of guns on top ready to be fired so this mechanism would kind of rotate um, and so these were the three parts of the machine gun here very 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 complex especially thinking about this this was uh, this design was 500 years ago when he was doing this now, what I want you to think about for this next project, thinking about Leonardo da Vinci, I want you to think about inventions in our past 100 years that have made our lives easier. And your assignment is to think of a new invention that could help people, so not harm people, but help people here in the 21st century. So here we have some modern examples, iPhones, smartphones smart watches 3d printers electric cars of course that's helped people because electric cars we know help the environment here is a robot robotic dog it looks like you are going to fill out a google form for this week 
to fill out the following information. You need to name your invention, tell, give a few sentences on what it does. How is it powered, perhaps? Is it electric? Is it solar powered? Is it water powered? You could think of if things are more energy efficient, more en energy efficient ways of powering your device if it needs power. And then a cost, okay? You gotta think of the materials or the labor, the time it would take to make your invention, All right? So I'm gonna be sh demonstrating on a video some ideas to kind of get the ball rolling for this assignment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on Leonardo da Vinci. Bye.